Centrioles are microtubule based structures that organize the centrosome and nucleate cilia. Um, okay, I guess. Centrioles duplicate once per cell cycle, and duplication requires PLK4, a member of the pololacinase family. However, the mechanism linking PLK4 activity and centriole formation isn't known. Dude, are you all right? In this study, we show in human and frog cells that PLK4 interacts with the centrosome protein CEP152, the orthologue of Drosophila melanogaster asterlis. Seriously, you're scaring me with this about the, um, what was it? The centrosome. The interaction requires the N-terminal 217 residues of CEP152 and the cryptopolo box of PLK4 CEP152 and PLK4 co-localize at the centriole throughout the cell cycle. Look, I don't know what's going on with you, but if it's about last night, can we just talk about it? Overexpression of CEP 152-1 to 217 mislocalizes PLK4, but both CEP 152 and PLK4 are able to localize to the centriole independently of the other. All right, I have had it with your games. Cut the crap about PLK4, whatever that is. Depletion of CEP 152 prevents both normal centriole duplication and PLK4 induced centriole amplification and results in a failure to localize SAS 6 to the centriole, an early step in duplication. You are such a loser. CEP 152 can be phosphorylated by PLK4 in vitro, suggesting that CEP 152 acts with PLK4 to initiate centriole formation. Um, whatever.